This issue, this issue is about voting rights that the Democrats are pushing, and it's about saving states from un... Uh, they have too much pension debt. They want state bailouts. We don't need one. Why should we pay $42 billion to Illinois? Why should we pay Como a dime? He spent his money on health care for citizens of another country. Not my problem. His problem. Yeah, I'm here today because I'm pretty, I'm getting sick of living in a shell, you know. I'm a selectman in my hometown and I get ridiculed constantly because, you know, I'm supposed to, you know, remain calm and tell me, you know, do what they're telling me to do. But what I, what I'd rather do is try to wake up people and say, listen guys, this has gone way past being safe. This has gone, you know, like he was saying, this is completely political. This is all about money and fraud, because those are the only two things that run our government right now, money and fraud. That's in D.C., and that's right here in Concord. And you know what, they, they try to fight us by getting their lawyers that they got sitting there waiting, you know, to defend them all the time. But we're Americans. Not only that, we live in New Hampshire, the live free or die state. And you know what, I rode my freaking bicycle up here today and it was awesome and God gave us a great day, a sunny day. And we're all here and everyone's having a great time. They're comfortable, no one's freaking out, no one's mad at each other. And this is the way it's supposed to be in this country. Not the way they, you know, not what Sununu says at three o'clock every day. <laughs> you know, and I'm sorry, but one man can't, should not have that much power. Who's that? He, he the can't, governor. he doesn't. Well, that's the point, but a lot of people don't understand that. Right. So, we had a doctor, a doctor who was unelected, close this country down. Fire Fauci. Exactly. Fauci. Who hasn't had a patient or seen a patient in 25 years. I'm not into the Bill Gates thing. The uh, World Health Organization, if you go back to their very roots, they are rooted in globalism. That's what, why are we paying them anything? Good question. No, we shouldn't be paying them, and I was, you know, Trump, I hope he permanently defunds the uh, WHO. But the other thing I want to say is, so I'm a selectman in the town, I get a lot of grief for doing what I do. Yesterday I went around and I interviewed three small local businesses and asked them about, you know, how they've been affected by the lockdown. Obviously they haven't been affected well. Our economy is all local small business in New Hampshire, and right now it's pretty much shut down. That's not sustainable, okay? The virus may be here for another year, who knows? But we need to start opening up. We need to protect the people that feel like they need to be protected. But the rest of us need to get on living. If not, we're gonna collapse. So that's it, and I want to throw in too that I am running for higher office. I'm running for State Senate District 24, one of the Seacoast districts in New Hampshire, so you can look me up. My name is Regina Barnes. If you go to my website, www.barnes4nhsenate.com, you can get to all my social media links on there. And I support you in everything you do if you're defending our civil rights. Yes, that's what we're here for. Thank you, and I appreciate both of you letting, letting us interview you and uh, post YouTube. And awesome. Have, have a great, beautiful rest of this, this day, right? Yeah, you too, man. Peace. Awesome, thanks.